So how do you install Spotify onto your uh, onto your computer? I'm going to do other videos on how to do this on on your phone as well. Um, so I'm going to do this right from the, from the beginning. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my web browser. I happen to use Google Chrome. Doesn't really matter which web browser. I don't believe. Uh, and all I'm going to do is search for Spotify. With very slow uh, typing. Select Spotify. And the first thing to come up is the Spotify.com website. If I click on that, here we go. Now you've got start free trial. So you've got two ways of doing this. You've got ad free, uh, so you can listen to music for free. Um, the downside of that is they will play ads every now and then to you um, and they will uh, also prevent you from downloading the music onto your phone so you always have to have a Wi-Fi signal in order to be able to uh, to listen to it um, I think or possibly a mobile data signal as well uh, so we're going to ignore that I'm going to assume you're going to do this for free at the moment as you can see there look the child premium for free for 30 days and it's 9.99 a month after that so bear in mind that would be for your whole household to listen to music so it's not that bad a deal so I'm going to click on download at the top there because I just want to download the Spotify um, app and as you can see bottom left it's now given me a Spotify setup exe file so when it does that when it's finished downloading it as that one has you click the uh, the little arrow to the right of it and then if you click open it will start to run it I might speed this bit up on the final video. So it's downloading the Spotify app. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, so you can see that it's automatically taken me to the Spotify app that it's, uh, that it's installed onto, onto my laptop. And you've got two options there. You've got sign up for free, or you've got login. Now I've obviously already got a Spotify account, but um, that doesn't help you if you don't know how to sign up for Spotify, because just going into my existing one won't explain how to do it. So this is gonna be really basic step-by-step -step stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna create a new Spotify account, just a free one. So I'm clicking on sign up for free. email there that's all right that one's fine and then I'm just going to choose a password don't you hate passwords and what should we call you call us the Conjurex and then it's after my date of birth And I believe I'm male. I mean, the jury's still out, but. Uh, so this is saying share my registration data with Spotify's content providers for marketing purposes. I don't think I'll bother doing that. By clicking join Spotify, you agree to the terms and conditions, which you can click and have a look at. Um, and then you're gonna we're gonna join Spotify. Oh, okay, allow access. So you may get something like that. It's just, that's just my um, my uh, virus software was decided it didn't like Spotify, so I just clicked allow access, and there you go. That is it. This is now a free Spotify account, so you can now listen to our music and pretty much anybody else's music. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to follow our profile. So at the top there, you've got the search bar. I'm going to, I've just clicked on that and I'm going to type in the Conjurex and you'll see top result because it matches exactly you've got the Conjurex and it says artist underneath underneath that you've got songs but you don't want to click on a song you want to click on the artist profile so I'm going to click on that and so that is us as an artist 
you can see we've got monthly listeners 39 you've got an overview and you've got five of the top five songs that are listened to as you can see 17 half thousand fans on Facebook and yet we haven't got a single song with more than a thousand plays on Spotify which um, I'm not saying that's embarrassing um, but it is so uh, if you click on about you'll see that we've got images you've got all our social media links you can see there that's our Chondriacs playlist there with seven listeners and then there's a little bio of us and then even where people are listening to us and as you know we share that because we find it quite interesting we have 121 followers at the moment so once you're on our profile the key thing the first thing to do is you see that little heart there next to the green play that will save it to the, li to the library and that will um, tell Spotify that you are uh, that you are following us uh, and that's a key thing for us if you want to I mean whether you do want to or not is entirely up to you but if you do want to to help us to, to get our music out there um, which I know a lot of you do because you've told us that you do uh, that's a key thing that you can do it's only a very small thing but when you click on that heart as I'm about to do it says added to your library at the bottom you're now following our profile on Spotify and for every person that follows our profile on Spotify Spotify in return add one of our songs to one of their algorithm created playlists these playlists are key to us because what they do this is the big advantage it's not the income you get from Spotify because it's non-existent virtually non-existent um, the key thing that Spotify do um, that help us as artists is this is where this is where all our new listeners are they're not on Facebook anymore because Facebook won't share our posts with anybody because they, when they change the algorithms but on Spotify once uh, you start to listen to music on Spotify they will learn what kind of music you like scary I know but that's the way of the world uh, and then they will recommend playlists to you with the sort of music that they believe you're going to like and they're very very good at it they are really good at finding music that you've not heard before that is the kind of music that you like so if you follow us we get added to an extra playlist we have 121 people following us at the moment so we are put on 121 playlists if we have a thousand people following us we'll be on a thousand playlists and you can see that that creates a bit of a snowball effect because if we're on a thousand playlists we're going to find new people that like us hopefully um, and then they follow us and then we get put on more playlists and that is one of the key areas that you can grow your fan base as musicians nowadays it still won't lead to very much money but it will lead to lots of new people hearing your music uh, which is the main uh, thing that we want to do we want to share share our music um, so that's the little art that you need to click so you can see here you've got our five top listen songs show five more so there's voices there and then if you scroll down you've got our albums spit it out out of the blue the single voices and can't you see and obviously at some point our, our new album as well and you can add any of those to playlists by clicking on the three dots and you can also download the whole album sorry you can only do that if you have premium but you can uh, put the whole album into a playlist and play the whole album like you used to in the old days on a CD as you can see you can also choose to like a song and that'll add it to your favorite songs and that's a key thing as well because when Spotify see that you're doing that if enough people do that they start to take notice of the songs that people are liking and then they'll add them to more playlists because they know that they're becoming popular uh, if you click on these three dots you can share us on Facebook and you can or messenger or Twitter whatever that is Skype Tumblr or you can copy the artist link, link and put that on anywhere you want as well so that other people you can share our profile with other people okay um, and if you then want to 
add one of our songs to your playlist. If you, if you just hover over one of our songs, click on the three dots, and it will give you that drop down, and then add to playlist. As you can see, I've got no playlist at the moment. If you've already got playlists set up, it will offer those playlists, and then you just find the one you want it to, to add it to. If you've never used Spotify before, you won't have any playlists, so we're going to click on New Playlist. Yeah, that's great. And then, oh, there you can see, it's created a playlist called Out of the Blue, with that song on. So there you go. And then you can search for other artists, and then add their songs to it as well, or choose other Conjac songs. So if we go to Add to Playlist, so I just clicked on the three dots, let me do that again. So there's Can I Hold You. Three dots, Add to Playlist, and as you can see, we've now got that playlist that we created. Add it to that, and that song is now... That's, there you go. Just clicked on Under Playlists, Out of the Blue, you can change that name if you want. And then there's the two songs. Um, I just tried to download it onto the computer, but as you can see, it says it's a premium exclusive feature, so you need to pay the 9 99 a month to be able to do that. But you can listen where you've got uh, a signal. So there you go, there's Out of the Blue playing on my laptop. You can do all this on your phone as well. Let's just pause that. Okay, so that's how you get Spotify onto your laptop. I hope that's helped. Um, I'm going to do something similar for um, for the uh, to do to do this on an iPhone as well. So tune in for that. Thanks, guys. Bye.